It could be an own goal. Cleared up the line. <laughs> John Stones with it. Is it me? Do you, do you think it's you? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a scramble and this clearance here from John Stone. Is that good? John Stones is from Yorkshire. Oh wait, he's York he's from Yorkshire. South Yorkshire. So if Calvin Phillips is the Yorkshire Pirlo, then what's John Stones? The Yorkshire Maldini? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Player Moments John Stones Episodia. That's right, today's only content is a Player Moments John Stones card uh, who sees himself get some pretty decent upgrades. He gets a huge dribbling upgrade. He gets a really nice defensive upgrade. I think it comes in at just about 150,000 coins. I think it'll settle around 135, maybe 130. Um, but uh, a very interesting card, and I, I think uh, the, the the first reaction everyone is having is, sure, he doesn't have the speed to kind of link up to some of the other players right now. You know, you got that Aaron Juan Bissaka, whose SPC was 400k. You've got the Fabingo, who's going for about 300k. You've got Joe Gomez's Inform, who we're actually going to be using in this episode, who goes for nearly 500,000 coins. We've got the record breaker, uh, Virgil van Dijk, who goes for nearly 1 million coins. We've got the Kyle Walker, who's about 732. So you get the theme here. You know, if you're spending for a meta Premier League center back, you're looking at minimum 300, 350,000 coins. The only exception to that rule is pretty much base Virgil van Dijk. That's what we're going to try to find out today. We're going to see if this is worth it. We're going to take him into a couple games. We're going to see if he feels a little silkier. I don't think anyone has used his 80 rated card, so I don't have anything to compare it with, but it is a massive, massive upgrade over his, uh, obviously a massive upgrade over his base card. So if we're comparing John Stones to the best center back in FIFA for me, which is the 85 road to the final clusterman, you want to know what's funny? They both have the exact same sto total in game stats. Now, John Stones compares very favorably, favorably to Lucas Klosterman. If you look at, they pretty much have the same defending. They have pretty much have the same dribbling. They pretty much have the same, uh, they have the exact same passing. Uh, they, uh, John Stones actually has plus two physicality. Lucas Klosterman, let's not kid ourselves. He has himself that obviously crazy, crazy pace boost. But uh, one thing that I do want to note, and it's one negative against John Stones, Lucas Klosterman has 69 agility and 65 balance on his card, okay? So that's obviously something that you would think is a huge deal uh, for, a, uh, for a center back. So uh, how come Lucas Klosterman feels like the best center back in the game when he has 69 agility? Does the 77 agility even matter on John Stones? The thing that I would make uh, a point about, uh, Lucas Klosterman has 89 defensive awareness, um, John Stones has 87. So I'm, 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 I'm going to think that the combination of the fact that he does have really good agility and then also has that really good defensive awareness, which gets jacked off uh, with the uh, Shadow Chem style over 90. I think that's going to turn him into a really, really good card. 72 acceleration goes up to 82 and then goes up to 91 sprint speed. I think 150k, again, 150k for a, a not a super, super meta, but a seemingly really, really good looking Premier League center back. I don't think is that crazy if you consider the landscape of the Premier League. But like I said, we're only going to know once we get him into a few games. But uh, long throw and trade, but you guys are Already know what it is. Hopefully, you guys are having a great Tuesday. Smash like on the video for this episode. Yeah. Smash like on the video for John Stones wearing a bunny outfit and absolutely cracking up with Kyle Walker. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. We're throwing him into a squad with Joe Gomez. Obviously, this is the guy that everyone's comparing him to, even though that this 85 in uh, Joe Gomez is literally triple the price. Uh, we've got this uh, uh, Odson Edward, who looks really, really good. Got him for 11,000 coins. I think he's probably one of the best cheap cards that we've ever got. Look at the dribbling stats. A very cool looking squad. I don't know. I think it's a very uh, very sweet looking squad, but let's not delay things any further. We're going to see if this John Stones can live up to the hype. Well, first off, he's got pink boots. The dribbling masterclass. Let's not get crazy there. Didn't mean to do that. You want to know what? Right off the bat, that that looked really slow. He looked like he was running really slow there. P.S. Your cunt is in the sink. <laughs> I don't love that. I don't love that from any of my guys. I, I I picked up FIFA when the day I, I picked up FIFA on a day when it's just absolutely broken. Ed, Edward Mendy, I mean look at him, six two. This is an eighty one rated card, boys. Joe Felix. 
There we go. That's a little bit more like it. John Stones, I mean, Frank de Jong, that's not a good guy to compare uh, speed to. Nice. Come on, Stonesy. Let's go, boys! Onson and Ward coming in with the uh, coming in with the volley of dreams, and I think we've got the uh, no, we had that custom celebration. Onson and Ward. Why is that? I don't know, Chef. Good enough. Get out. You're not good enough. It's off. That was the weakest <laughs> slide tackle I've ever seen. Ligma Ballers FC. Nice. Really nice. That's a lovely team name to look at on a Tuesday morning when you're, when you're just trying to wake up. Didn't exactly feel super rapid trying to get to the ball on that first attempt. Um, got to Frankie de Jong pretty easily, but we still haven't been put in a situation where we're trying to track down one of his guys like a Joao Felix or, or a Marcus Rashford, who's literally, you know, that, that's the kind of player, especially in weekend league or rivals or whatever you're trying to play, that you're trying to um, build your defense for. Guys that can withstand that kind of speed and punishment. It's an 81 rated card. That's an 81 rated card, guys. He's 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 12. He's not even 12,000 coins. Can't do that with uh. Can't do that with a with a def, uh, with a defender that doesn't have agility. Look at him. What am I doing? What actually am I doing? Did you guys see that? Marcus Rashford running at full speed and then John Stones catching up to him and then making the play. Come on, Stones. Ref, grow a set of nuts, dude. I stay doing... I stay doing body feints with, with John Stones. And that's why people... And, and that is why people love Joe Gomez's card. He's because he's able to do things like that. Some good work. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Also, Eduard is an absolute mad lad. You can get him for under 12,000 coins. What an absolute god. Did you see that run? That's 86. That's 86 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. I love it. Can we zoom in on that woman's face inside the cone? Am I the only one that saw that? Player of the match should be Otson Edward. I think I scored three goals with him. He was absolutely incredible for me. Four total attempts. Uh, four total attempts. One out of six tackles, one for John Stones. Five out of five for Joe Gomez. That's a little bit sus. The thing with uh, Stonesy, you, you never really feel... You know how sometimes you feel pressured and a little bit scared with the ball? Depending on how you like to control your center backs? I don't really feel that with John Stones. Right? Because he does have a nice little bit of agility. So it leaves a little bit of... Uh, you can get a little bit creative with him, if that makes sense. Otson Edward. Mendy, uh, Mbappe. Mbappe's not missing that. It's going to be a goal every time. You know, Net makes an interesting point that in NBA 2K and Mobile and Madden, if you want end game content, you can grind it now. Like, if you want end game content, you can get it now. Here's an interesting counter argument, right? I'm not saying that either one is. Uh, I'm not. I love it! That's, that's just tragic. That is just a tragic piece of defending right there on a 79 Adama Troyer. What if it's a good thing that we're limited to the end game content that we can get right now? Maybe it's a good thing that it's being dripped out to us like this, right? So it prevents so it prevents you from being able to complete the game prematurely. Like what if you got your end game team in December or January? Then what are you playing for for the rest of this uh, for the rest of the year? And again, I'm not saying either is right or wrong. I'm just throwing it out there that it could it's an interesting it's an interesting talking point. Rodrigo. Muy buen balón en la espalda de la defensa. Gol! Toca y toca por los costados, quieren buscar un espacio. He moved right. He thought it was going to shoot right. This is literally going to be like a game that ends 5-5. Stonesy. The one thing that I've had, the one thing that, the one issue I've had with my two center backs is they're like fighting over each other. That's the only thing that's been annoying about the cards. Mbappé, veamos qué hace, a ver si lo aprovecha. 
and that's why people pay the big bucks for Mbappe. And that's why they pay the big bucks for Mbappe. But Alfred, how could you be so comfortable spending that amount of coins on a player when you can get Odson and Edouard for a fraction of that? Master Wayne, are you honestly comparing Mbappe to Odson Edouard? Yeah. Well, it's about the saddest thing I've ever heard. This. Right, that's John Stones on St. Max. Come back to St. Max. Nice. I mean, was that a convincing challenge? Uh, no. I mean, like, he didn't get the ball back, but he, he, did, he did disrupt the play. Alright, so we got that. Keeping an eye on Stonesy. Staying in position. He's going to pass it off. Don't like that. I didn't like that. That, again, wasn't, super wasn't a super convincing challenge. There we go. That's more like it. See, and then you can do a little bit of an agility. Can't really do that with Klushtaman or any of the other, uh, any of the lower lower agility uh, center backs. Damatrori. There we go. There we go, Stonesy. All right, good covering, good covering, good covering. Try to send it in. John Stones, again, putting bodies on the floor, things you absolutely love to see. I don't like, like Stones. How are you not getting to that? I don't understand. Like, I know I'm, t I know I'm like, I know I'm dragging him out of position, but I need Stones to be there, man. Stones, is, is this me or is this just the game? Like, was it just a good pass? I, f I, I feel like he kind of just looks at the ball and says, yeah, I'm, I really just have no, I have no desire to try and stop this ball at, you know, whatsoever. My overall feeling on the card in terms of uh, on the pitch performance, and we'll, we'll just start with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say two and a half out of five. Speed wise, it wasn't a huge, huge issue. I didn't feel he was caught out in too many situations, but there were uh, situations as specifically where the ball is close to him, where it just feels like he doesn't know how to interact with it. And I don't know what to call that. I don't, I don't know what stat to point to because he's got defensive stats for days. I don't think it's horrible value for about 150,000 coins. if settled around 130, 135. So for that reason, I'll give it a three out of five. Um... And the reason I'm giving it 3 out of 5 is because the, the like the landscape of the Premier League center backs is, is so crazy. I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's a scenario where you could get this John Stones into your squad and feel good about it. But for me, it's for sure an SBC. I'm definitely going to be swerving it on the RTG. Um, and there, there was just something about the card that just felt a little bit lackluster. I can't really point to it. But uh, just there, there was just something missing where I don't have the confidence in the car, in this card like I do a Clusterman or a Baumgotlinger. Those are the two guys that I love or a Gazans for, uh, for that matter. Just didn't feel a whole lot of confidence with him and it also might be the fact that when I'm highlighting a defender you know I'm in, in I'm in a lot more situations where I'm showing you guys what I'm doing on defense and uh I'm not a great defender uh by default but anyway if you guys do get this card on the pitch let me know how it plays for you let me know you guys think about the value is it too much is it too you know do you think it's fair value let me know in the comment section below but like I said uh two and a half out of five in terms of on the pitch performance three out of five in terms of value can't give it anything less than that because Premier League center backs um are so so expensive uh so uh yeah that's gonna do it for the episode yeah boys hopefully like i said you guys have enjoyed smash like if you did hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and i'll catch you guys for a stream later tonight till next time my boys choose later a day